to make the concept much more clearer you can say that one revolution of the crankshaft gives one power stroke so we can come to a conclusion that So guys, be with me till the end of this video, as this video is going to be very helpful for you guys. So guys, let's not waste any time and move on to our topic, Marine Two-Stroke Engine. Yeah guys, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification. So guys, let's move on to our topic. What does actually two-stroke actually mean? Let's analyze it. Two-stroke actually mean two-stroke of the piston. To talk much more in elaborated sense, you can say that the movement of the piston from TDC to BDC makes one stroke and the movement of the piston from BDC to TDC makes another stroke. So combining the two stroke, it makes two stroke of the piston. That is the movement of the piston from TDC and back to TDC. So the journey of the piston from TDC and back to TDC, that is in the two stroke engine, there occurs two processes once. That is compression and expansion. Both the processes occurs once in the cycle. To make the concept much more clearer, you can say that one revolution of the crankshaft gives one power stroke. So we can come to a conclusion that as the name implies, the entire cycle that is suction, compression, power and exhaust happens in entire two stroke of the engine piston. So the actual timing of suction, compression, power and exhaust varies from engine to engine with respect to design and construction features of the engine such as stroke bore ratio, engine rating, engine RPM and the ratio of length of connecting rod to crank length etc. So let's analyze some typical valve timing diagram of two stroke engine. So as I have told you earlier the timing may vary from engine to engine based on construction features and design features which I have mentioned earlier. Inlet or scavenge opens at 42 degree before BDC. Inlet or scavenge closes at 42 degree after BDC. Exhaust valve opens at 75 degree before BDC. Exhaust valve closes 60 degree after BDC. Injection start 16 degree before TDC and last but not the least injection end 20 degree after TDC so guys now let's analyze the two stroke of the engine that is upstroke and downstroke first of all we will be explaining the first stroke then as the video unfolds we will be explaining downstroke upstroke of the engine that is compression stroke the scavenge spot is uncovered exhaust valve is closed and pressurized air is fed into the cylinder. The introduction of the fresh air into the cylinder does the scavenging process. That is, it removes all the exhaust gas from the previous cycle. The introduction of the scavenge air is done by the turbocharger. That is, boosting of the air via air cooler by increasing the density of the air and improving the thermal efficiency. So, basically turbocharger plays a major role in increasing the scavenge air so that it increases the thermal efficiency. The piston then moves upwards that is BDC to TDC. The exhaust valve closes, the scavenge ports are covered and the piston start compressing the air. At the end of the upstroke that is the movement of the piston from BDC to TDC the air pressure in the cylinder builds up to 32 to 45 bar and there will be a corresponding rise in temperature as well that is 650 to 800 degrees celsius well the above mentioned data may vary from engine to engine as per the design feature and construction features now let's analyze downstroke that is the movement of the piston from TDC to BDC that is our power stroke the fuel is then injected into the cylinder by the fuel injector to the hot compressed air then the fuel 
starts igniting upon reaching the self ignition temperature of the fuel the combustion causes expansion of the gas which pushes the piston downwards that is towards bdc the piston being pushed downwards towards the bdc by the combustion gases is doing some work hence it is known as power stroke or expansion stroke the exhaust valve is then opened 40 to 75 degree of the crankshaft rotation just before bdc upon opening of the exhaust valve the exhaust gas rushes towards the atmosphere which lowers the cylinder pressure to 2 to 4 bar approximately the temperature is high due to exhaust gas that is 250 to 500 degree celsius exhaust valves are open for about 118 degree to 130 degree of the crankshaft rotation the scavenge ports are open for about 100 to 140 degree of the crankshaft rotation so that's all for two stroke engine whatever the timing that i have mentioned to you that is our valve timing it may vary from engine to engine depending upon the design and construction features which i have mentioned before as well if you find this video useful share with your friends as well and yeah guys do press the like button and comment down below in the comment section as your comments are helping me to improvise my youtube videos and yeah guys before ending this video consider subscribing my channel and press on the bell icon for future notification so guys this is maran shri and signing off see you in next much more interesting videos like this thank you and have a nice day